Welcome to the second video in my cash flow training course. Let's click on customers, the customer module. We have our customer list. We currently have one customer, bookkeeping master. If we click on the customer, click on contact details, we can edit the customer's name, address and contact details. Simply edit the address or the contact detail required, then click update and that customer will be updated. Under options, there are a number of settings that we can change this customer. The majority of these we will look at further into this course when we look at more advanced features of cash flow. But a couple to highlight at the moment is payment terms. You can enter your payment terms. I believe the default for cash flow is 28 days after the date of the invoice. If we wanted to change that to 14, simply enter 14, click update and that will be updated. Now when an invoice is over 14 days from the date of invoice, it will be highlighted on cash flow. So it's important that the payment terms are correct for each customer, as it will help us in our credit control. You can also edit to days after month end. Another setting is the default sales code. This is currently set at sale of goods, but if you want to book different customer transactions to different sales codes, then you can edit that here for each customer. Let's look at invoicing a customer. Click on invoices, stats, etc. This is the invoice screen. Here you'll be able to see the amount that is due and overdue for each customer and the total invoiced. In our next video, I will show you how to create an invoice for a customer on Cashflow.